Welcome everyone. In this video, we will see how you can perform a user access provisioning review using data snippers form extraction. Let's get started by going into this work paper. As part of our IT access controls review, one of the tests we perform is to check employee provisioning. To begin with, we have taken an entire employee list, and from there we've picked up a sample of eight new joiners. What we are going to do now is test a specific attribute for all the new joiners, whether there was a proper segregation of duties in place before they got the access to applications, which means that the approver and administrator should not be the same. Now before we get into performing this review, let's look at our user access forms. The user access forms, as you can see, have been filled out by hand. So, these are all handwritten approval forms, and you would need to fill in these details like the employee number and approver name manually. By leveraging data snippers form extraction feature, we can bring significant efficiencies to our procedures and save time to focus on any issues that need attention. If you head over to the ribbon bar, right in the center, we have an automation section where you can find the form extraction. When you click on form extraction, you'll be directed to a form extraction window, which opens up with feature templates, company templates, as well as my templates. Now let's understand how to create an extraction. The first step is to click on the blue Start New Form Extraction icon. You'll see a pop-up menu that allows you to select the documents for the extraction. Once selected, you'll be directed to the Form Extraction view, where you can start extracting information. First, we'll set the frequency of extraction, which means telling Data Snipper how often to go into the document and extract the information. In this case, since we have imported one single PDF with multiple pages, the extraction frequency we will set as extract per page. So now let's click on Add Extraction, and then bring in the employee number first. To do so, you'll left-click drag and release your cursor. You can see a preview pane open up, and all the extractions for the employee number have come through in that pane. You can easily scroll through the list and see the extractions. Now let's create another extraction. We also need the approver name and the approver job title. We will click on Add Extraction and bring in the approver name and the approver job title. Make sure that the size of your SNP is adequate. The last extraction that we need to make is for administrator name. Once we have extracted the information, we can now click on the three dots and rename the extraction headers. So let's rename the first extraction to employee number and rename the second header to approver name. You can also double click on the word extraction and rename this as well. Let's rename all the headers. In a matter of minutes, we were able to complete all the extractions. You can now click on the blue export to Excel icon. You'll see that all information comes into Excel cross-referenced. We now have a cross-reference to all SNPs that have been created, and you can easily copy-paste them into your work paper. Now we can test the first attribute, which is whether the access was approved by a different authority than the administrator. You can focus your attention on verifying the attribute rather than manually adding the information. If the attribute is passed, you can create a validation SNP highlighting each work paper, thereby maintaining a high quality work paper. This is how you can use Data Snipper to bring efficiency into your IT access reviews. Happy snipping!